In a factory just outside Phoenix, Arizona, something impossible just happened. For the first time in decades, the single most powerful AI chip on Earth, a chip that runs ChatGPT, powers self-driving cars, and might one day create artificial general intelligence, was manufactured on American soil, not in Taiwan, not in South Korea, right here in the desert. And this isn't just about chips. This is about who controls the future. We're living through the biggest technology race since the space race. Artificial intelligence is reshaping everything, from medicine to warfare to how we think about intelligence itself. And at the heart of all of it, chips. Specifically, NVIDIA's Blackwell chips, the most advanced AI processors ever created. But here's the problem. For decades, America designed these chips and then shipped them overseas to be built. We became dependent on factories thousands of miles away in politically unstable regions. Until now. On October 17, 2025, NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang walked into a TSMC semiconductor facility in Phoenix and held up something that looked like a thin, shimmering disk. The first NVIDIA Blackwell wafer ever produced in the United States. This is the story of how America brought the future back home. Picture this. A massive $65 billion fabrication facility rising from the Arizona desert. Inside machines worth hundreds of millions of dollars etch patterns onto silicon wafers so small, they're measured in billionths of a meter. And on that Friday in October, after years of construction, political pressure, and engineering challenges, TSMC's Arizona Fab 21 did something extraordinary. It produced the first production-ready Blackwell wafer, the foundation for NVIDIA's most powerful AI chip, entirely on U.S. soil. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's founder, stood on stage with Y.L. Wang from TSMC, and together they signed the wafer like a historic treaty. Because, in many ways, that's exactly what it was. A declaration that America is back in the semiconductor game. This is the very first time in recent American history that the single most important chip is being manufactured here in the United States, Huang said, his voice carrying the weight of the moment. This is the vision of President Trump of reindustrialization to bring back manufacturing to America, to create jobs, but also, this is the single most vital manufacturing industry in the world. The crowd erupted, because everyone there understood. This wasn't just about one chip. This was about reclaiming technological sovereignty. So, what exactly is a wafer? And why does it matter so much? Think of a wafer as the blank canvas for the digital age. It's a perfectly circular disk of ultra-pure silicon, typically about 12 inches in diameter thinner than a credit card. But what happens next is where the magic and the complexity begins. That wafer goes through a process that's equal parts chemistry, physics, and engineering wizardry. It's layered with microscopic circuits, billions of transistors, in fact. The Blackwell architecture contains 208 billion transistors, more than 2.5 times what was in NVIDIA's previous generation. These transistors are etched onto the silicon using extreme ultraviolet lithography, light so precise it can draw features just 4 nanometers wide. To put that in perspective, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. The Arizona facility is creating chips at the 4 nanometer process node, some of the most advanced semiconductor technology on the planet. These aren't just incremental improvements. At this scale, we're pushing against the physical limits of matter itself. After weeks of layering, patterning, and etching, that single wafer is sliced into dozens of individual chips. Each one becomes the brain of an AI supercomputer. But here's where it gets interesting and complicated. The Blackwell chip isn't just another GPU. It's a beast. With 20 petaflops of FP4 compute performance, Blackwell delivers performance that's up to 15 times faster for AI inference than its predecessor, the H100. It has 192 gigabytes of HBM 3E memory over twice the memory capacity of previous generations, and memory bandwidth of 8 terabytes per second. Translation, this chip can train AI models with trillions of parameters. It can run ChatGPT-style language models faster and cheaper than ever before. It's powering Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI's next generation of AI systems. And now, it's being made in America. TSMC's Arizona facility will produce not just 4 nanometer chips, but also 3 nanometer, 2 nanometer, and eventually the cutting edge A16 process technology. These chips are essential for AI, telecommunications, autonomous vehicles, and high performance computing. But the real impact goes beyond specs. 
For the first time in recent history, the United States doesn't have to rely entirely on Taiwan, a small island 100 miles from mainland China, for the chips that power its AI infrastructure. This strengthens national security. It creates thousands of high-tech jobs. It reduces the risk of supply chain disruptions. Ray Chuang, CEO of TSMC Arizona, called it a miracle. To go from arriving in Arizona to delivering the first US-made NVIDIA Blackwell chip in just a few short years represents the very best of TSMC. It's a tangible victory for the CHIPS Act, the $52 billion federal investment designed to rebuild America's semiconductor industry. TSMC received $6.6 .6 billion in government subsidies to make this happen. And now, the world's most valuable company, NVIDIA, with a market cap of $4.5 trillion, can say its flagship AI chip is made in America. But let's pause for a second, because not everything is as perfect as it seems. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Even though that Blackwell wafer was made in Arizona, it's not finished in Arizona. After the wafer is fabricated, it still needs to be shipped back to Taiwan for something called advanced packaging. Specifically, Kowas L packaging, chip on wafer on substrate technology. This is the process where the individual Blackwell chips are integrated with HBM3E memory modules and connected through ultra-high-density silicon interposers. It's one of the most complex and cutting-edge packaging technologies in existence. And right now, only TSMC's facilities in Taiwan can do it at scale. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo pointed this out immediately. The first US-made Blackwell wafer from Arizona still needs to be shipped to Taiwan for Kowas advanced packaging. So while the US has made huge progress in manufacturing the wafer itself, the finished product still depends on Taiwan. The strategic advantage? It's real, but it's not complete. Not yet. The good news, both TSMC and Amcor are building advanced packaging facilities in the United States. When those come online, likely toward the end of the decade, the US will be able to produce Blackwell chips from start to finish, entirely domestically. But until then, there's still a critical dependency, a geopolitical vulnerability. And it raises a deeper question. In a world where AI is becoming as important as electricity, can any country afford to depend on another for the infrastructure that powers it? So, where does this leave us? This isn't just about one wafer, or one factory, or even one company. It's about the beginning of a new industrial revolution. Think about what's happening. NVIDIA is planning to invest half a trillion dollars in AI infrastructure in the United States through partnerships with TSMC, Foxconn, and others. TSMC is expanding its U.S. operations with multiple fabs in Arizona. Micron and SK Hynix are building memory production facilities on American soil. The entire AI supply chain is being rebuilt in America. And the implications are staggering. AI is already transforming drug discovery, climate modeling, scientific research, and national defense. The countries that control AI chip production will have an outsized influence on the future of technology. And by extension, the future of power itself. China knows this. That's why they're pouring billions into their own semiconductor industry. Europe knows this. That's why they're launching the European Chips Act. And now, America is making its move. But here's what's really wild. We're not just talking about making chips faster. NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture introduces entirely new precision formats, FP4 and FP6, that allow AI models to run with dramatically less energy while maintaining accuracy. We're talking about up to 25 times better cost and energy efficiency compared to previous generations. This means AI can scale in ways we couldn't imagine just a few years ago. Larger models, faster inference, lower costs, and all of it. Potentially powered by chips made in America. On October 17, 2025, a thin silicon wafer emerged from a factory in the Arizona desert. It was signed, celebrated, photographed. To most people, it probably looked like nothing special just a shiny disk. But to those who understand what it represents, you know, it was a turning point. The return of American manufacturing, the strengthening of the AI supply chain, a declaration that the United States will not sit on the sidelines while the most important technology of the 21st century is built somewhere else. The road ahead is long. There are still challenges. Packaging, supply chain resilience, global competition. But for the first time in decades, the future of AI is being built at home. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.